Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomus Biology and in this video we are going to discuss about unit 3 preparation for CSI and NET. Unit 3 of CSI which is the NET syllabus is molecular biology and molecular biology means it's a part of the central dogma of biology that is the study for unit 3 that means DNA you know, replication, transcription and translation. Now this is such a unit which includes a lot of understanding, a lot of concept build up even before mugging of concepts. So you, if you are finding it difficult to understand, that means you have a difficulty understanding the concept, you need to go through the basics of the DNA replication, transcription and translation. Because until and unless these three mechanisms are clear, you cannot understand cancer biology, you cannot understand cell signaling and many more things. So that's why it's very, very important that you start from the beginning. Okay, so always start from the beginning. If you are a newcomer, start from the beginning. If you have already had some experience, then you can start from the advanced course. So you, what you need to understand is the DNA replication, transcription and translation for prokaryotes in details, you know, different stages, the name of the proteins involved and how exactly those stages are done. And one more important thing is that how those stages are regulated. This is very, very important. If there is proofreading, then how, what kind of proofreading we are talking about. And the second thing is about the eukaryotic replication, transcription and translation. Although they don't ask many questions from eukaryotes and there are many similarities between prokaryotic and eukaryotic translation less similarity between uh, transcription and DNA replication but still you need to know the differentiation between the two you need to be able to understand the difference between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic translation prokaryotic and eukaryotic replication prokaryotic and eukaryotic transcription particularly the transcription initiation in prokaryotes and eukaryotes and also you need to understand the uh, differences between the two you need to understand the different polymerases uh, involved in both the processes what are the difference in their structure what are the difference in their function and you also need to understand other uh, the third most important thing from this chapter that is the rna biology very very important and very very favorite chapter for examinate questions rna biology involving uh, the eukaryotic rna processing that is after the transcription process 5 prime capping, 3 prime polyadenylation, all these things and RNA editing, RNA splicing. This is very, very important. And one more thing is, which is very important is RNA mediated, uh, you know, multiple techniques that we uh, that we use right now. That is, for example, talons or the techniques like CRISPR-Cas9 systems. These things are very, very important because these are modern research papers and they may ask you questions from modern research paper. Another very interesting and important topic here is meselson stahl experiment, which proved the DNA replication to be semi-conservative. We need to understand that very, very well. Okay. To answer most of the question from part c you know part c is a like unit uh, three is a unit uh, where they ask questions of marks two as well as questions of mark four okay so both the questions you will get plenty of questions you will get this is a very important unit and you need to cover all these units all these topics that i told you very clearly so the best way to prepare this unit is that to to watch a lot of animations animated content will help you to build up the concepts and the steps of uh, the stages of, of, of this process of DNA replication, transcription and translation as well as the RNAi mechanisms, SHRNA, SIRNA, MIRNA and that RNA mediated processes uh, you need to, you will understand that very well with the help of animation. So stick to more animated content to understand the basics. And then second thing is that you need to also remember few name of the proteins that you can do that with the help of mnemonics. Or you can simply, if you read it quite uh, several times, it will always be printed in your mind. So that's how you should prepare for unit 3. Remember, it's a very, very important unit for CSI net exam. That's it for today. Uh, we'll see you next. So thank you. Bye. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Share this video with your friends.